Peppa and her family are going for a drive to the mountains. Are we nearly there yet? Not yet, Peppa. <sighs> Let's play a game. We each have to spot a car of our favourite colour. Yes! My favourite colour is green. Mine is orange. Mine is red. George, what's your favourite colour? Blue! George's favourite colour is blue. Let's see which colour car comes along first. OK! Here is Candy Cat in her green car. <laughs> green! That's my favourite colour. I win! Hello, Candy! Meow! Hello, Peppa! Here is Danny Dog in Grandad Dog's breakdown truck. Orange, so I win! Hello, Danny! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Here's another car! It's Susie! Hello! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! Boo! Yes, George, it's a blue car, so you win! <laughs> This is a silly game. There isn't a red car anywhere. There is one red car, Peppa. Where? Oh, <laughs> what colour is our car? Uh, it's red. I win, I win. <laughs> <laughs> the family have arrived at the mountains. We'll have a fantastic view when we get to the top. We're here. Hooray! Look at the lovely sunny view. Ah! Oh dear, it has started to rain. Where's the lovely view? Uh, there's a lovely view. It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream store. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Daddy Pig. Four ice creams, please. What flavours would you like? Mint, orange, strawberry and blueberry, please. OK. <laughs> Look what I've got. Ice cream! <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're our favourite colours. That's right. Green for me. Orange for me. Strawberry red for me. And George's is... Boo! <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum, yummy. Look. The sun has come out. And look what else has come out. A rainbow! Peppa and George love rainbows. A rainbow only comes out when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Ooh! It's got all our favourite colours in it. Yes! Red and orange and green and blue. <laughs> And do you know what you find at the end of a rainbow? No. You find treasure. Oh, can we go find the treasure now? OK. The end of the rainbow looks like it's just on the next hill. Let's go! Whee! <laughs> it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow's here to play. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, where's our rainbow gone? It's moved to the next hill. You cheeky rainbow. Quick, let's catch it. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> it stopped raining. And the rainbow is gone. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Maybe the rainbow has left some treasure behind. There's something over here. Have you found the rainbow's treasure? Yes, I have. A big, muddy puddle. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> this is the best rainbow treasure ever. <laughs> <laughs> The Blackberry Bush. Pepper and her family are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Today I'm going to make apple and blackberry crumble. Yummy! I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Hi, Hi, Hi Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. 
One, two, three! <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Ah. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no, I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush and she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um... Can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, Mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. My prince. My princess. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly and she was going, Ah! Help me! Help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Peppa. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble then? Well... Mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> <laughs> Sun, sea and snow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. Tomorrow, we're going on a coach trip to the seaside. We can make sand castles. I fancy a swim. Me too. The weather forecast says it's going to be sunny. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Oh, it is starting to snow. It is morning. Yippee! It's sunny. <gasps> snow! A lot of snow has fallen in the night. Snow, Mummy! Snow, Daddy! Snow, snow, snow! Hey, what? <laughs> We are still going to the seaside, aren't we? Well, let's see how much snow there is. Oh, where's Daddy gone? 
It's a walking snowman. I'm cold. <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> oh, it's just Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh... Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Peppa's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snow plough. Snow ploughs push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Mr. Bull. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night, but the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Bye. Have a lovely day at the beach. We're Seaside. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh, that sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. Peppa, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. Are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig's chickens. Pepper and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa's house. Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye, Mummy. Come and see where you're going to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this was Mummy Pig's room when she was a little piggy. In olden times. And this is the bed Mummy slept on. Ooh, bouncy bed. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like your mummy when she was little. Did mummy bounce on the bed? Of course. But mummy tells us not to bounce on the bed. When mummy was a little piggy, she was cheeky, just like you. Was she? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, let's go and see Grandpa Pig in the garden. <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, Pepper. Hello, George. Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. Ooh. And here are my peas. Oh. But best of all are my lettuces. Oh, no! My lettuces! 
I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <coughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. <coughs> wow! Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <coughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> Is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Peppa. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. Yeah. And he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <laughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <laughs> Come on, this way home. <laughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <laughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <laughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh! It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Pepper. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night, night. It is morning. It's Neville! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four. Four eggs, Granny. Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Thank you, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled eggs for everyone. Hooray! Mmm, delicious. <coughs> Granny, your chickens make yummy eggs. Yes. It's all that lovely corn they eat. And my lettuces. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest muddy puddle in the world. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. There's so much rain. That means there will be puddles to jump in tomorrow. Oh, goody. You can never have too much rain. It is morning. Hooray! <laughs> Muddy puddles! <laughs> oh, hello, Mrs Duck. What are you doing here? <laughs> wow! The rain has made a flood. Our house is a desert island. Muddy puddles, here I come. Whee! <laughs> oh! Who put all this water here? How will we get our food? Daddy will have to swim to the shops. Uh... Grandpa Pig has arrived on his boat. Ahoy there! Wonderful boating weather. Um, yes. We're sailing to the shops. Do you need anything? Yes, please. Can you get us some tomatoes and spaghetti? Tomatoes and spaghetti? Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. Polly can be our shopping list. Who's a clever parrot? Oh, who's a clever parrot? Can we come too, please? <laughs> Hop aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Look. There's Susie Sheep's house. <laughs> We're going to the shops. Do you need anything? Mummy, do we need anything from the shops?
Chops? Yes, we need food for dinner. Chocolate, please. Uh -huh. Chocolate. Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. I'm helping my granddad. We're rescuing people. Great weather for it. Do you need anything from the shops? Uh, maybe a newspaper. And a comic. Newspaper? Coming. Grandpa, what's that stick thing in the water? Ah, submarine! Action stations! Ahoy there, me hearties! It's Grampy Rabbit in his submarine. Lovely day to go sailing. With just the sea and the sky, the stories I could tell. Do you need any shopping? Oh, yes. Uh, cheese, please. Cheese? Grandpa Pig's boat has arrived at the supermarket. Hello. It's very quiet today. You're my first customers. Maybe it's because of the flood. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? A little bit of rain and everyone stays at home. What can I get you? Polly has a list. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? Oh dear. Polly has forgotten the list. Luckily, I remember what everyone wants. Cheese! Thank you, Pepper. You're a good un. Newspaper and comic. Thanks, Pepper! It was lucky Pepper was going to the shops, or we'd have nothing for dinner. Here's your chocolates. Now we can have our dinner, Mummy. Pepper and George have arrived back home. It is their bedtime. It is morning. Oh. The water has gone, but left a big muddy puddle. Muddy puddle! <laughs> this is the biggest muddy puddle in the world ever! <laughs> Champion Daddy Pig. Pepper and her family are watching sport on television. It's a long jump. It's a new world record! Mummy, what's a world record? It means you're best in the world at something. Then you are a champion and your name goes in a book. There are champions for running, jumping, swimming... I wish you were in the book, Daddy. I am in the book. No! Yes, Daddy Pig is champion puddle jumper. Wow! No one has beaten me yet. I don't think they ever will. The next event is the Puddle Jump. That was a very big splash. In fact, I think, yes, it's a new world record. Oh. Daddy, you're not the champion anymore. Everyone will be sad. Ho, oh, oh. ho. I'm sure they've got more important things to worry about, Pepper. Daddy Pig, you lost the world record. Everyone wants you to be champion again. It's important. Really? Yes. yes. OK, I'll do it. Tomorrow. Hooray! But I'll have to train myself to jump in muddy puddles again. Everyone knows how to jump in muddy puddles, Daddy. Ah, but not everyone is a champion, Pepper. Daddy Pig is the master. Daddy, are you going to practice jumping up and down? No, Pepper. I must be at one with the puddle. What? To jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. Do you need to do running? No. Do you need to do press-ups? No. I need to sleep and dream about puddles. It is the day of the big puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. My lucky golden boots to be used as 
gardening boots. You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto, I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and man, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady, Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. <laughs> the puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Polly's boat trip. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George on a boat trip. Uh, Polly Parrot is going too. Uh, Grandpa Pig, <coughs> have you got your mobile phone? Yes, Granny Pig. Don't drop it in the water. No, Granny Pig. Is it switched on? Yes, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye bye. Here is Grandad Dog. Ahoy there! Ahoy there! Lovely day to go sailing. I would go too, but my boat needs a clean. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know why you bother cleaning that rusty boat. I'm surprised it's still afloat. This rusty boat will still be afloat long after your old tin boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Full steam ahead! Goodbye. I am the captain of this boat, and when the captain tells you to do something, you must do it. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. George, raise the flag. George, raise the flag. <laughs> Pepper, ring the bell. Pepper, ring the bell. <laughs> Grandpa, can I be the captain, please? OK, but as captain, you must wear this hat. <laughs> now Peppa is the captain, and everyone must do what she says. Ring the bell. Turn that wheel. Aye, aye, Captain Peppa. Jump up and down. <laughs> captain Pepper is a bit bossy. Perhaps I should be the captain again. We don't want to crash into anything. Steering the boat can be tricky. Luckily, I'm good at steering. <laughs> oh dear. Grandpa Pig's boat has crashed into a little island. Grandpa, we're stuck. I'll ring Granny Pig. She can get help. Whoa! Oh! Grandpa Pig has dropped his phone in the water. Granny Pig speaking. Hello? 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 Somehow, we need to get a message to Granny. Ah? Uh, message to Granny? 
Polly can fly to Granny. Good idea, Peppa. And I can teach Polly what to say. Grandpa Pig says... Grandpa Pig says... Help! 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 There you see. Easy peasy. Grandpa Pig says easy peasy. You silly old bird. You silly old bird. Hello, Polly. What are you doing here? Uh, Grandpa Pig says... What does Grandpa Pig say? You silly old bird. Oh! Help! Help! Goodness me! Grandpa must need help. <laughs> Grandad Dog! Hello, Granny Pig. Grandpa Pig needs help. Please, could you rescue him? Madam, I would be delighted. Hooray! Ahoy there! Do you need rescuing, Captain? Um, maybe. Would you like my rusty old boat to rescue you? Yes, please, Grandad Dog. Catch this, Captain. Aye, aye, Skipper. Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Granny, did Polly tell you we needed help? Yes, Polly is a very clever parrot. Say, I'm a clever parrot. I'm a clever parrot. <laughs> Compost. Daddy Pig is making vegetable soup for lunch. Daddy, can I help? Thank you, Pepper. Can you clear away all these vegetable peelings? OK. <laughs> Stop, Pepper. Vegetable peelings don't go in the normal bin. They go in this brown bin. Ooh, Ooh. banana. That's right, George. It's a banana skin. And there are onions and carrots and all sorts of fruit and vegetable leftovers in here. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa will like these. Do Granny and Grandpa Pig eat potato peelings? <laughs> no, Peppa. They're for Grandpa's garden. They help his plants grow. Ooh. We can take these round there after lunch. Oh, goody. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Peppa and George are taking the vegetable peelings over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We're here. a special present for you. Ah, vegetable peelings. <sniffs> Fantastic. My garden will like these. Does your garden eat vegetables? Oh, ho, ho. no, Peppa. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. Yes, Pepper, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top and then out of the bottom comes lovely rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, no, Pepper. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. Look. Ah, wiggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. The worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Grandpa, can we find some more wiggly worms for your compost tape? What a good idea. Come on, George. Let's find some more wiggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> A wiggly worm. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. You're a wiggly worm. You're a wiggly worm. How do you do? I love you. You're a wiggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Be a good wiggly worm and turn it all into compost. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> then I can use the compost to... I know, I know. You put a seed in the ground, cover it in compost and it grows into a tree. Oh, yes, Pepper. And talking of trees, we'd better go and help Granny Pig. 
She's collecting fruit in the orchard. What's the orchard? It's where you find fruit trees. We've had this orchard since I was a little piggy. <laughs> Hello, Granny Pig. Candy Ig. Are you going to help me collect some apples? Yes, Granny. No, the apples are too high up. Don't worry, Pepper. Granny and Grandpa have a little trick to collect the apples. Everybody hold on to the tree. On the count of three, shake the tree as much as you can. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> it's raining apples! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Granny, can we have an apple, please? Of course, Peppa. Mmm, delicious! And can you guess what we do with the apple cores? Uh, wiggle, wiggle! That's right, <laughs> the apple cores go into the compost for the worms. Clever George! <laughs> Wiggly worms too. <laughs> 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 <laughs>